Hey, greetings in the wonderful name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Hey, here we are once again. Joy comes in the morning. Weeping may endure for a night, but joy comes in the morning. And I greet you all in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. I am here once again. Uh, I've been launched once again to come back to this chair uh, by our senior pastor, Pastor Joelin, and I really appreciate the training. It is not uh, really nice, but I appreciate uh, the training, and I want to appreciate it and appreciate our spiritual father, Pastor Strike. And I've come here to stand in their position. I've come here to once again be with you as we run uh, with with the time, as we run with the days that the Lord has given us. And I hope we are going to have a great time once again this week. I hope you'll be encouraged. I hope you'll be strengthened. I hope you will be ready to run. I hope you will be ready to bulldoze. I hope you will be ready to bring down walls. I hope you will be ready to stand up and make sure that you fight for what is your own. I hope you are going to stand in Zalona and make it to the top because that is where we belong. That is where there is fine dining for me and you. That is where there is great fresh air for me and you up there. I hope we'll have that time. Hey, sons and daughters of Mana Tabernacle, greetings in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Our viewers on Facebook, greetings. And uh, our viewers on YouTube, we greet you also. We really appreciate the time that we've had. It's been over six months that we've been together in this platform. And truly, you've walked this journey with us. It has been an encouraging journey because you've been there. It's been an encouraging journey because you've been there. You have encouraged us. You've, you've, you've not pumped as difficult it may have been, but you have pumped us and told us, hey, go on, go on we are listening and we thank god for his grace we thank god that we are still here today we thank god yesterday was our first day as mana tabernacle way in we opened doors the church doors and we had a wonderful time you know we had a wonderful time at farm life we sat there under the trees and we had a great time and hey it tells us things are changing things are moving in the right direction but we want just want to say thank you thank you for being part of these platforms that we've been in thank you for you know keeping your loyalty with us as we have journeyed sharing the word of God as we have journeyed praying together and hey I can tell you Mzalwane myself I am stronger than what I was in March I am more stronger I am more ready to fight every day than I was in March and I hope you are like that too I right, thank you once again we are starting a new series this week and the series is titled defend it it's titled defend it that's the series Mzalwane we are starting at this week and I hope we're going to have a great time last week we spoke about call on him and he will answer and this week we are talking about defending what the lord has given you defending what the lord has trusted you with defending what the lord has given you Mzalana, it is our duty to defend what god has given to us you know we see david coming out you know, coming back from war only to find that Ziglas has been banned. And it talks about defending what we have. And now the question is, when the king left, did he leave the place secured enough? Did he leave the place protected? But we thank God because he goes back to the Lord, regardless of the losses that he had, but he goes back to the Lord. He says, Lord, please, I am crying to you. And I want to say to you, Mzalona, there is many losses that me and you have to avoid by defending what the Lord has given us, by standing firm on what the Lord has given us. And we are going to be finding our scripture reading, which is going to be the base of our reading uh, this week from the book of 2 Samuel chapter 23. And we'll be reading verse 11 and 12. And I am going to be reading from the Amplified Version. This is the base of our, our sharing uh, for, for this week. Throughout this week, it is going to be the base of our sharing. And it reads as follows. Next to Eliezer was Shammah, the son of Aji the Hararite. The Philistines were gathered into an army where there was a plot of, of ground full of lentils, and the people of Israel fled from the Philistines. But he took his stand in the center of the plot and defended it and struck down the Philistines. And the Lord brought about a great victory. And the Lord brought about a great victory. Verse 12, I'll read verse 12 again. But he stood 
but he took his stand in the center of the plot and defended it and struck down the Philistines. And the Lord brought about a great victory. I thank God for the reading of his word. Let us pray. Father, we thank you for your word. Father, we thank you that, Lord, you've been with us. And we thank you, Father, that you are taking us yet to another series, Lord, to defend what you have given us, to defend what you have placed in our hands. And, Father, as we're going to be sharing through this week, Lord, even in this day, Father, I say, think through my mind and speak through my lips as we are going to be sharing this morning in the name that is above every name, the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Vazalwana. As joy comes in the morning, and here we are once again, joy comes in the morning. Things might have been difficult, but I'm coming to you, Mzalwane, to say God has trusted you with great things. God has trusted you with wonderful things, but you have a duty, Mzalwane, to defend what God has given you. You have a duty to stand up and make sure that you defend your field, you defend your family, you defend your children, you defend your business, you defend your faith. You have a duty. That is the duty, Mzalwane, that is between me and you. And here we see a man who stands and defends the whole field full of lentils when the rest of the people had ran, ran away. But he stands and he says, I am going to defend this field. And the Bible says that God brought about a great victory. God is a God Mzalwane, that goes with people that are vigilant, people that know that every day that we get into, it's a day of war. Mzalwane, you must know that every day it's a day of war. As joy comes in the morning, Mzalwane, you must be ready to be in battle and make sure that you fight and you fight to win. Like Paul says that you must run and run to win because every day is an opportunity to be celebrated. It's an opportunity opportunity to be there on that podium of victory. But there is no podium of victory without a battle won. There is no podium of victory without somebody standing a victorious. And I see this man defending what the Lord had given them. Defending. This man defied and said, you know what? I am not going to depend on these cowards that are running away. The whole nation running away. The whole army running away. But he says, I am going to fight and I'm going to make sure I defend what belongs to us. And this man stands in the middle of the field and he defends the field. And Mzalwane, you have a duty to defend your life. You have a duty, Mzalwane, to defend your family. You have a duty, Mzalwane, to defend your economy. You have a duty, Mzalwane, to defend your marriage. We have a duty, Mzalwane. And we need to stand and stand in the middle of what the Lord has given us and defend and defend it. And how do we defend it? We defend it in prayer. We defend it with diligence. We defend it with putting our hands on the plow and working hard. Like the Bible says that whatever your hands find to do, do it with all your might. And I want to say to you, Mzalana, we see this man. This man saying, he told himself that if I die, I die. But I am going to defend this field. And the word of God says, God looked at this man and God brought about a great victory through this man. And the rest of the people that ran away, they came to celebrate the victory. The victory that was won by one man. The man that knew his God. And I want to say to you, Mzalwane, you know your God. Do not give up on what seems to be lost. Do not give up on what seems to be in danger. Do not give up on your children, Mzalwane. But stand in the gap. Call upon the God in heaven, and he is ready to give you a great victory. Do not give up, Mzalwane, upon your marriage. Stand in the middle of that marriage, and call upon the God of heaven, and he is ready to give you about a great victory. Hey, Mzalwane, stand in the middle of your economy. Stand in the middle of your business, Mzalwane, and call upon the God of heaven, whom Daniel says there is a God in heaven. Even Joseph says there is a God in heaven. Stand Stand him, Zalone, and stand firm. Do not allow the enemy to blind you to the greatness of our God. Do not allow the enemy to blind you to what God wants to do for you. You need to stand and be vigilant in Zalwan. This is a time where in men that are vigilant, they are going to see about a great victory in their lives. These are times where men that are vigilant are going to defend their territory, are going to defend their marriages, are going to defend their children. But you need to be vigilant in Zalwan. 
You need to defy the voices of the enemy because the voice, the, the voice of the enemy is out there. Every day he is talking about what you are going to lose. Every day he is talking about what you are going to fail at. But I want to say to you, Salwan, the word of the Lord says this man, when he saw the army, what, what, what came to his mind was not the army coming towards him, but was defending what was already his. And this man says, I am going to defend our harvest. I am going to defend our field. I am going to defend our sustenance. I am going to defend him. And the Bible says, God brought about a great victory. And God wants to do the same with you, Salwani. Do not lose heart on that business that seems not to be doing well. Stand in the middle of that business. Call upon the God of heaven to put his hand upon that business. Call upon the God of heaven, Salwani. We might not be fighting physical battles like this man fought physical battles with the enemy, but we are not. We are not fighting with flesh and blood. But our fight is against spiritual forces, and we need to stand up, Salona, and be vigilant. Like I always say, Salona, you cannot sleep and expect things to happen. And the Bible says that while men slept, the enemy came and planted weeds. Salona, when you sleep, the enemy will come and plant weeds. Stand in the middle of that business. Call upon God who never fails. Call upon God who is more than ever. Call upon God who has given you dominion and authority over all the works of his hands. Anything that is in your life, Mzalwana, I want you to know that it is from the work it is out of the works of the hands of our Father. So you have been given authority and dominion to stand. You have been given authority and dominion to defend that. And I say to you, Mzalwan, let not this be the time where you sit down and cry. Let this not be the time, Mzalwan, where you are thinking death is the easier option. Let, it not be, let this not be the time, Mzalwan, where you want to give up and close the chapters and say it's not working. I am saying to you, Mzalwan, rise up, Mzalwan, and fight for what God has given you. For because what you have, no other person has. You have been specially given that. It has been, it has been specially given to you. And you have a duty, Salwana, to stand in the gap and defend what is yours. Salwana, if you sleep and you give up, I'm telling you, it will be taken away from you. You will lose it, Salwana. But if you stand and be vigilant, even when you see a, there is no way, our God says that I will make a way for you where there is no way. Even if you see that, how am I going to get out of this? Remember, he is a God who makes a way where there is no way. He is a God who specializes in impossibilities. The impossible situations is what God wants. He says in Luke 137, nothing shall be impossible with God. And I want to say to you, Salon, only if you stand, only Mzalwane, if you commit yourself and tell yourself you are going to fight in this battle, you are not going to give up Mzalwane, but you will rise up and call upon his name, and he is never late, he is never delayed, he will surely come through for you, and before you know it Mzalwane, you will be seated at the top, before you know it Mzalwane, you will be celebrated when this man decided to defend the territory, to defend the field of letters, least did he know Oh, that at the end of it all, he is going to be celebrated. At the end of it all, he is going to be sitting at the top. And we find this man sitting at the top because God brought about a great victory in his life. And God wants to do the same with you, Mzalwan. God wants to do the same with you. God wants to defend your family. God wants to defend your, 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 your business. God wants to defend what you have, but you need to stand and remember, Mzalwane, that you are not an ordinary person. Remember, Mzalwane, that when you say, Jesus, become my Lord and my Savior, you already, at that time, the greater God is in you. As the Bible says, greater is he that is in us than the one that is out in, in the world. This man knew his God, and this man stood and defended. And I want to say to you, Mzalwane, do not sit there 
and let things be taken away from you. Do not sit there and let your family crumble. Do not sit there and say, hey, I have done what I know to do. Call upon the King of Kings. Call upon the Lord of Lords and stand firm and do not allow the spirit of giving up to catch up with you, but stand and defend what the Lord has given you. And I hope you have been blessed this morning in Salwari. I hope you are ready to rise up in Salwari and overcome. I hope in Salwari you are saying enough is enough. I hope in Salwari you are saying enough is enough. I hope in Salwari you are fed up this morning and you are rising up to claim what belongs to you. You, to, you cannot just surrender it in Salwari. And I hope you are ready in Salwari. I hope you are fired up this morning. I hope you are provoked this morning. I hope you are ready to run this race and to run to win him, Salwane, because it is an unending race. As long as you serve Pilam Salwane, you are in this race and you've got to run this race. As long as you serve Pilam Salwane, raise your head, square up your shoulders and get into the back because you are not alone. The host of heaven is behind you, Salwane. The host of heaven is behind you, and God knows you. You, in particular, God knows you. So rise up, Mzalwane, to your victorious position. Rise up, Mzalwane, to what, what God has destined for you to be. I hope you are encouraged this morning. I hope you are fired up. And I'm going to be praying with you, Mzalwane. Let us pray. Father, I pray in the name of Jesus. I pray for my brothers and sisters, Lord, that have listened to this word. I pray, my Father, that, Lord, may you fire them up, my dear God. May you fire them up, my Father, to stand up, Lord, and to defend what you have already given them, Lord. I pray, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, for my dear Father, as Shama defended the, the ground the, uh, full of land as Lord. You looked at his heart, you looked at his commitment, O oh Jehovah, and you brought about a great victory in his life. I pray, my dear God, that as we stand with my brothers and sisters, to defend, Lord, what you have given us, to defend our faith, to defend our family, to defend our marriages, to defend our economy, to defend our businesses, Lord. I thank you, Father, that you are about bringing a great victory, O oh Jehovah. My dear God, we thank you in the name that is above every name, the name of Jesus Christ. My brothers and my sisters, I hope you have been blessed this morning. And hey, see you at the top, because that is where you belong. See you at the top, because that is where there is fine dining and fresh air. You belong them, Salwan, and make your way to the top. I hope you are blessed in the name that is above every name, the name of Jesus Christ. I thank you. Have a great day. Amen.